It's been an exercise in feeling absolutely responsible, yet utterly powerless. That is, that is the way to describe raising a family this year. I don't think I've ever been excited as I was for 2020 and the other year before. And like career-wise, I was just excited for 2020 because, you know, we all talk about it. We used to talk about it with like 2020 is the year. Like we're going to be able to go on tour. We're going to drop these projects. We're going to do this, this and that. We, we were just so excited for 2020. 2020 comes and then it was just tragedy after tragedy. I remember January. Um, I have pretty much lined up to be, like everything lined up to be the best year as an artist. I remember like coming in and I got pretty much like a lot of the things that I had lined up for the rest of the year, to be honest, all start getting canceled. July hit and um, my dad caught COVID. My mom called and she uh, said that it's looking bad. He had been in the hospital for a few weeks already at that time. And um, that was, I believe, his third week at the hospital. And they called and saying it's not looking good. So we are going to allow you all to visit him. I don't want to waste another moment. You know, I, I want to be intentional about the time that I spend with my loved ones. Um, and just seize the moment, you know? Just like, be here. The most difficult aspect of this year has also created a most dependence in this moment for me. And it's been this face-to-face -face with the fragility of life. Like mortality, you know, and even within my story, being face to face with mortality is not new, but it's been heightened um, this year in ways that I wasn't prepared for. Um, man, thousands of people are dying daily. But then you have just black and brown bodies constantly, I mean, just constantly being the victims of violence done to them. And it's just like, man, you know, where, where are we? And you just think about, man, like, life really is a vapor. We were en route to the hospital and we actually were just checking into the hospital. And um, they had a setup outside and they're verifying us and then someone comes down they said wait give us a moment let us go check to see if we can get you all in and then another man comes aside and he asks like who is the the wife or so and I so my mom goes to the side and I'm like what what is he about to tell her and she just screams um and I, and I remember just hearing her scream. So at that moment, I knew exactly what it was. Um, and so they told us he had just passed as we got there, but they were gonna try to resuscitate him. So give them a few minutes. And so we can, you know, see if, if they're able to, if they're, if they're able to be successful in that. And so it's this weird moment because it's kind of like you're hopeful, like it, it snatches everything out of you. But then it's this moment of you being hopeful that, man, maybe they can bring him back to life. Um, and then time goes by and we're still seated, seated outside waiting. Um, and they come back, the doctors at this time come back and um, two of them and they tell us there was nothing they can do. They tried everything they can. Um, and they allowed, uh, it was three of us at the time there, um, and they allowed two of us to go up. And so my mom and I, we went up and um, I was able to see my dad, but it, it wasn't how I would have wanted to see him last. About a month in to quarantine, um, I test positive for COVID. So um, that was, <laughs> I think, you know, sometimes in life, you go through things and you like, you become stronger. And you think 
nothing can take you down ever again after you go through certain things. But COVID had me at like the lowest I've ever been in my life. And I've been through some lows, <laughs> through some low stuff in my life, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think I've ever experienced depression at that level, right? Because now that I only have COVID, but I had it for over a month. I was stuck in my house in a room because I was with my, I'm living with my dad. As um, soon as I found out I had COVID, I went and I, um, and I isolated in a room in the back in the house away from everybody, away from everything for 30 plus days. It's hard to find beauty within myself sometimes, but I, I feel like I've tried to change that narrative. Like I've, I've been doing a lot of work to change that narrative. Um, and it's been pretty rough. I feel like this past year has forced me to like view beauty within myself and beauty in, within the world a little bit differently. Um, because around me, I don't feel like this world is beautiful. Uh, culturally, I guess. Um, I feel like I lean towards more of like this world is sick in a way. But um, beauty for me just comes in the most tiny things, in the most tiny moments. And I think for me, it just means believing in, in myself. I didn't know who to go for help, you know what I'm saying? So um, after we had that conversation, I remember I get, off the, I, I get off the phone and I just closed my eyes and I started crying. And um, I said, um, I said, God, I understand. And <laughs> I'm sorry. In that moment, um, I just started to let it all out. I felt like I was just trying to be the tough guy the whole time. I was holding it in. I didn't want to show people that I'm weak, you know? But After all of that, um, you know, everything happens for a reason. Um, you know, I'm here now, negative <laughs> for COVID-19. And um, one thing I would say to like anybody that's listening to this, when you go through things, just stay faithful. Because no matter what it is, God is always going to be there. Whether it's through a friend, like how you were there for me, or whether it's just Him spiritually there for you. I think we all are a beautiful mess in God's hands. Um, we become like this masterpiece in our own way. We believe in something great is about to happen, the best yet to come. I think that's what the message is through this art is. You know, we might have like through all these papers, we have all this, but on top of it, it comes the God's uh, final touch that would be the art in it. You know, like uh, representing like his touch uh, of purpose, of creation. And, and, and it's not gonna stay like this. You know, my, we might have the toughest moment, but God bring joy, you know, like to, to, to this whole setup. And I think like uh, it's been the worst year, but I feel God always used this year to become the best year uh, of our lives as well. I pray that people will know that they are not alone, that God gives us Him, He give us His truth, um, and He give us others to walk alongside life with. And it may not always be the person that we are thinking should show up in that time or expecting or hoping for, but there is someone that God will always have present in our life because that's who He is and that's how He is.